Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Carrie and I do faith, family, and kids videos. button yet please hit that subscribe button it really helps me out like this video comment something below maybe tell me your love story if you've seen the title you know what today's video is going to be about i was going to do a video about successful nannying but that will be in the works and coming next week hopefully what happened is we actually got a gift from bumble it's if you don't know what Bumble is, Bumble is a dating app where the girl has to be the first one to talk in order for the match to happen. So you can swipe right on a guy you like and the guys can swipe right on you. You match, but the guy's not allowed to talk first unless he pays to do so. I was on Bumble for quite some time and I would yo-yo with it where I'd have it for a while and then not have it for a while. So I wanted to talk about how Tyler and I met. We matched on Bumble in November of 2018 and he messaged me back the next day. So usually what would happen is if I matched with somebody, I would almost always start the conversation right away. Hey, what's up? Something generic. At the time, I was just interested in casual dating. I had been hurt too much on the front I know that that's kind of something he was also thinking but when we started talking he was more interested in a relationship so we actually talked a lot on Bumble the next couple days and got to know each other really well and he seemed like a great guy so we ended up adding each other on snapchat that day the only thing that threw me off is that he lived two hours away so I didn't know how that was gonna work I know another time I know that a couple other times I had matched with guys that were farther away or like you know matched with a couple guys who were like two hours away and I had had some bad ghosting experiences with that so I was nervous to say the least <laughs> so we just had snapchatted back and forth a little bit and it just so happened that it was bad timing when he had originally snapchatted me because I was in the mode of party mode and I wanted to go downtown and hang out with people. And so I originally was like, he was asking me what I was doing. I was like, hey, I'm getting ready to go downtown. And he just wanted to talk. He just wanted to get to know me more and like keep talking to me. But I was just basically I was kind of rude and I was like okay I'm getting ready because apparently I had like opened a snapchat and not responded and he was like hey what's up and I was like I said I'm getting ready <laughs> yeah basically I was, I was rude so unfortunately I was talking to a lot of guys at the time and he just kind of slipped under the radar and that was the time of my life I'm not proud of let me just say that well, we didn't talk again until he randomly messaged me in April. So this is now six months after we first started Snapchatting, which is crazy. So April of 2019, April 23rd of 2019, we had started talking again. He basically messaged me and was like, hey, whatever happened? Like, we just like tried to figure out like, I guess he was asking like had he done something wrong or whatever so I told him I said I never like I always give a shot what did I say something like I never turn a guy down before I've met him in person something similar to that and so we actually made it happen that weekend it was when the NFL draft was in Nashville and we went to that as our first date. Now, what was crazy about that date is we both felt very natural. It was the first time ever meeting each other. We felt natural the whole time. In fact, when we were standing on Broadway watching live the NFL draft, 
he stood behind me and put his arms uh, uh, down across me and I just like kind of held on to him and that was like just I don't know I can't describe it any other way I also ended up taking him to Rockland which is a park that was very special to me I frequented that park and there was a certain spot that was kind of hidden away where I would do my devotions or I would do my lesson plans or I would play my guitar and it was right down by the water but it was kind of hidden by a bunch of rocks and you had to like know it was there to get to it and I barely I only showed it to very few people and on the first day I showed him that place so on that first day I really wanted to think that he was the one but I was scared of thinking that I was worried <laughs> I was worried that maybe I was being desperate honestly so I have this little cute little notebook and on May 10th, which is, let's see, the, the draft was April 27th, so May 10th would have only been like two weeks after I had met him for the first time. I wrote something out and I actually did not mean for him to see this. I thought I will write it out and in the future if it works out, he can see how early on I thought he was the one. So, I ended up writing at the end of that note on May 10th. I said, we haven't even known each other for a month, but I already know you're the one. Is that crazy? That's the very first note that I wrote in here. And again, did not plan for him to see it as soon as he ended up seeing it. Um, I May 20th, I wrote another note in here that says something like, this past weekend, you officially asked me to be yours. That's right. May 18th. This is so cute. May 18th, he asked me to be his girlfriend in the bed of his truck in a field that he owned under the stars. And we were blankets and pillows and everything. And it was, it was perfect. Okay. It was perfect. I wrote a note and I said something like, we are making plans for our future home together already and somehow it doesn't feel too soon. Again, this entire relationship, I have felt nothing but at home with my husband, my now husband. And so that was like a big deal is every other relationship, I guess you could say, felt kind of forced, almost like I was lonely, I needed it, so I did it. And unfortunately but with Tyler it was always different from the first date yeah on May 23rd I wrote something like it's already been a week of us being official together but it feels like a lifetime just because of that naturalness I already felt like I had known him for a very long time okay I actually didn't write a date on this oh yeah May 24th he wrote be back okay so May 24th he asked me to be my he asked me to be his girlfriend on May 18th, May 24th, so six days later. He was coming up to my house, and I, like, set up a little scavenger hunt for him because, yes, I'm that extra. Part of the scavenger hunt was I wrote him a note, and I set it on the counter like this, open to this note. He <laughs> looked back at the other notes that I had written that I had never told him I had written, and, again, was... We had only been together for six days or something, like a week. <laughs> and so, I was so... When when I got home and realized he had read these other notes, and I mean, I feel like I, I should have guessed that that might have happened. But, yeah, so he like read these other notes and he was like, he's the one. And we had been together for a week, you guys. <laughs> oh my goodness, I was so embarrassed. Like, I was like, oh, I just... But he ended up saying in the note how he felt the exact same way and he loved all the notes and he thought he was crazy for thinking that I was the one and so we knew and we talked about it from very early on. And then he wrote, he got out like different sheets of paper from something. I don't even remember from what, but he writes in here how this page wasn't enough for him. So he wrote out two eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper and I actually framed it because it was so beautiful. And yeah, they're, in our, they're hanging up in our room right now. Yeah, and the rest of this, 
the first time we said I love you this is so crazy so I actually was just in desperate need of jobs I was working a full-time job plus trying to do lift plus I worked with a helping hand which is a babysitting business basically an organization and they do a lot of military events well they were having one in Gatlinburg it was going to be a lot of money for me to work it and even though Gatlinburg was three hours away I thought I have my Prius my Prius is super great on gas mileage and I asked him if he wanted to come with me actually no, I told him about the opportunity and he wanted me to go so bad that he offered to pay for the hotel. And I was like, okay, you know, that's that's fine. Um, just because I would love to have you there with me and love to be able to uh, make some more money, pay off debt, pay bills, whatever. Well, <laughs> the big battery in a hybrid car which is what like, you know, kind of powers the car when it's not working on gas. And by the way, without the hybrid battery, the gas part of the car doesn't work. It died and we were supposed to get somebody to come out and fix it like the night that we were going to leave for Gatlinburg. Well, I messed up and somehow didn't click submit on getting somebody out there. So there wasn't anybody that could come out until like Sunday. <laughs> And this gig was over the weekend. So Tyler drove the whole way there and back in his truck. Yeah. And when we got there, he told me he loved me for the first time. And I did. I told him I love him back. We had been together officially since May 18th. So June 2nd is literally only like half a month after we became official. Again, all of this felt really natural and it wasn't like awkward or felt forced or anything like that. So we just kept writing notes to each other. We have so many notes to each other in here and we just want to fill up this notebook and then keep writing to each other. Since we've gotten married, it's we kind of forget about it to be honest. But now that I pulled it out, like I'm definitely going to write him a note and... I'm a girl, so I write him more notes than he writes me, but he's really good about trying to make sure he writes back or whatever. We got engaged on September 20th, and let me just tell you, I am not a person that gets surprised easily. I usually figure surprises out before they happen, so it's really hard to surprise me. In fact, Tyler tried several times with other things to surprise me, and I always actually figured exactly what it was <laughs> and he thought it was pretty uncanny that I could do that. We also had this thing in the beginning of our relationship that we called same brain waves where we would like be thinking the same exact thing as the other person was thinking, sometimes even finishing sentences, which I know sounds cheesy, but it was really weird <laughs> because we hadn't known each other that long. Okay, so May 18th, official, June 2nd. I love you. September. So five months after we became official, we got engaged and Tyler pulled off the best surprise. I was legitimately, like legitimately surprised. And he was so proud of himself <laughs> for doing that. But it was perfect. It was by the water. It was by a place he had taken me before. That was just beautiful and the sun was setting and y'all i actually uploaded the engagement video and i will link it here y'all need to go watch it it's so cute he even plays like the perfect song for y'all 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 so we set a date pretty quickly because i've always known i wanted a spring wedding so we set a date for april we set a date for april 18th however the place i was living in was kind of sketch I'm just gonna put it that way I was living by myself and it was just like a bad situation so turns out the house we're in now was a family friends like they own it it still is a family friends we just rent from them <laughs> but we got like an incredible deal on rent we still do just because of the family friend connection and it's a three bedroom house, even though it's like 1200 square feet, 
It's a three bedroom house with a little bathroom and then big living space. I think if you guys have watched my videos, you've kind of seen it. This is our guest room that I'm in right now. <laughs> so eventually it will be a baby room, but for now, it's our, one of our guest rooms. We have two guest rooms. So this house became available, well, at the time, between college and everything, Tyler actually hadn't had a chance to move out. This is a very small town, so like there's not a whole lot of apartments unless you want to live in the really sketch ones I lived in and even then they're hard to come by like we had to work really hard to get into the one I got into and because this is a very small farming town like you either buy a house or you still live with your parents so I will say that was a turn off at first I was like you still live with your parents okay but then like when I went down there and met his family like it he paid rent to his parent, parents, he paid for, um, you know, his own bills and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, like at least you pay rent and you're not just like video games in the basement kind of deal, you know, it wasn't creepy. We decided that we were just going to go ahead and get legally married in November. So engaged in September and married two months later. We still wanted to celebrate with all of our family and friends, so we decided to keep the April 18th date, which if you have not seen what happened to that April 18th date, check it out here. I talk about it. We still haven't had our wedding, basically. But we have we were legally married. We got married in a backfield of his parents, and it actually ended up being the same exact field where I killed my first deer. Because I've never been hunting before but he took me hunting this past year and I loved it and I got that deer mounted and it's so beautiful if you haven't seen it go check out my Instagram I have a picture of it it's he's just so gorgeous I love looking at him and I'm so happy that we ended up getting married in the same field that that happened so we actually got married in our full out camo because the weekend after we got married was opening season four deer hunting. So we, I was literally in full out camo. Both of us were like shirts, pants, boots, everything in November in a field. And we just had his brother, his brother's girlfriend, who is now his fiance. I will link that video here. And... Tyler's mom and dad. The weekend before, Tyler and I drove down to Florida to talk to my parents and be like, hey, we're doing this. And they were actually in support of it, which is great because we were worried they wouldn't be. Without Bumble, we would not have found each other. And I know that God used Bumble to bring us together and he truly is my other half. I don't know how it started, but basically I ended up sending our love story to Bumble and they loved it so much that they like asked for the whole story or they asked me something about like posting it and asked for pictures. Oh, and I ended up sending them my engagement video too. So they sent us this box. Randomly, I got a notification that, hey, your, your order from Bumble is being delivered and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I didn't order anything from Bumble. What is this? So they sent us like this box of stuff, just like merch, which is kind of cool. This is the inside of the box. How cute is that? By the way, this is not sponsored by Bumble. I wish it's not, but this is so awesome. I could not show you guys. So there's two of everything in here. This hat, you guys, <laughs> big moves, big mood, cute. And on the back, y'all, I'm failing at this. This says Bumble. So this hat, guys, I'm gonna wear this. Hold up, hold up. Okay. Which by the way, all the credit goes to Tyler for making this first move because I had just about forgotten about it. <laughs> so, then there are these bottles. Again, there's two of everything in here. One for him, one for me. On the other side, it says, never thirsty. Yeah, classy, I know. And then there's two of these stickers. Hashtag move banker. 
think I'm just gonna put it on my bottle. And then they have two of these. And then they have these cute little fabric keychains. I just say Move Maker and Bumble. So yeah, just like a bunch of free merch, which is so cute. Honestly, it made my day, so I was really excited to get that. But when we got that this week, I thought, might as well tell we all how we met and all that. Our whole story. So yeah. So yeah, thanks for hanging out. And hopefully that answers any questions you've had up until this point. If you are still looking for the love of your life, try Bumble. Hinge isn't a bad app either, but Bumble obviously worked for us. See you guys next video. Wait at your bloom. I think I saw your face in the moon.